Hi, I'm Damien. You're watching Audio TV. I'm here with the one, the only, Dave Pierce. How, How you doing, doing, man? Yeah, we're chilling in the uh, the luxury chalet. Hey, guys. This is a luxury I chalet. Mean, look. How are you feeling about the vibe of you know of the ideal weekend? Tell me about the crowd. Tell me how you're feeling about the first weekend of ever. Yeah, I really enjoyed it actually. I mean, it's it's. Um, it's, it's unusual for me to do like a daytime inside thing like that anyway. Mm. So that was nice to do that. And uh, it was quite interesting because um, I followed Rob to Sarah who was doing a brilliant set and he was kind of mm. going on a more funky tip. But I really, mm. I wanted to come here and play my trance music, which is mm. kind of what I'm known for. Yeah. Uh, so I had to kind of change it. And But everyone came with us and we went on quite a journey. I had no idea what I was going to play. Mm. Someone had took one of the sound guys knocked my records over, so then I didn't know where anything was. Uh, so I was kind of making it up on the fly, but I was getting into the vibe and, and the crowd as well. And mm. you know, those records, I mean, some of them were made like 15 years ago, or whatever, but they've, been a got, while, isn't it? they've got a kind of spirituality in them, which I think is so important in music. And, um, you know, it really touches people's emotions and in the, in the drops and the breakdowns, you know, mm. there's, there's room for everyone to breathe and just, you know, feel good about life. That's what, for me, dance music is all about, really, is, is that kind of euphoric vibe. And so, from a DJ point of view, seeing everyone going nuts is great, but also in those breakdowns when people just kind of, lo you know, have that kind of moment, that's, it. That's, that's really important to me as well, because it means that they really, they've just forgotten about all the shit in the world and they're just getting into the music. So that's, you know, so it's great. How does, you know, your sound fit in with the hardest style of beats? Well, I mean, I kind of was, you know, known for playing trance and there was a fusion between trance and hard trance mm. which is kind of near hard dance That's right uh, so there's a connection there and then various um producers have kind of linked the two you know people like marcel words with when he was doing advanced and tracks like that where, where, the, where it's kind of merged mm. and um you know there was a, a whole period of, of obviously with the tidy recordings and uh, also from the other guys you know stuff that bk was doing right, nucleus yeah. records and stuff where quite a few of the records kind of overlapped really so you know when i'm doing something like this i just whack the bpm a bit up from what i would play somewhere else <laughs> so we went to about 145 or something mm. which you know out, out in um mainstream club land is really really fast because everyone's gone right down to like 128 130 which is like a nightmare i, I get I, I like it fast because it you know it just gives it more energy so um but yeah so there is a kind of link there you know there's been that you know, a lot of um, trance influences in hard dance, also rave influences as mm -hmm. well. And, and you see that in fact with, with today's ED, what they call EDM in America, mm -hmm. where they're actually nicking bits of rave, of bits of hard dance, you know, those Hoover sounds. Mm -hmm. There was one track I played earlier which had like an old Hoover sound in it. And there's it, an amalgamation of all those sounds, which is good. And it, you know, it keeps reinventing itself, which is great. Once again, 